some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with a more sovereign citizen who believes that the laws don't apply to him. And if you don't know what the Moorish religion is, I'll be playing a short news report on the subject before the main event. And if you already know what the Moorish religion is and are aware that only a small segment of them are the extremists, go ahead and skip ahead to this timestamp right here. In addition, I had to clean up the audio because there were so many ambient noises with the vehicles in the background because in the original video you could barely hear the guy in the truck talking because it's a good distance away but there are a couple spots where the program didn't seem to want to clean it up or was unable to clean it up at any rate let's sit back relax and enjoy the show you may not have heard of the moorish nationals but police have members claim to follow Moorish science. It comes from a black religious group that's been around for nearly a century. Most of its members obey the law, but not everyone. Chip Reed looks at how some use their religion to justify the crime. This 35,000 square foot mansion in an exclusive corner of Bethesda, Maryland, has 12 bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, and trees planted by President Clinton and Vice President Gore. On the market for nearly $6 million, it's not exactly a steal. So imagine real estate agent Jordan Feinberg's surprise when he learned someone had moved into the vacant property. The owner calls me again and says, the neighbor called their people inside the house, claiming they own the house. And I'm like, what? Lamont Butler, a.k.a. Lamont Maurice L., claimed the mansion for himself. I've seen the reports like this before. Uh, there was a uh, video that Vilified Freedom showed where a more sovereign citizen broke into an abandoned house, changed the locks, and claimed it as his own. It was eventually trespassed and removed, so it does happen. He even provided documents issued by the so-called Moorish National Republic to back it up. It's a burglary in the you know, purest sense. Across the country, Butler and many other self-styled Moorish nationals have laid claim to property and status they say is lawfully theirs because their ancestors were here first. In Memphis, Tennessee, Tabitha Gentry staked a claim on this $3 million foreclosed home using heavy chains. Charged with trespassing, burglary, and theft, Gentry, who prefers the name Abka Ray Bay, says as a citizen of the Moorish American National Republic, that land is her land. And this man was arrested by police in Fayetteville, North Carolina, for interfering with a stolen car investigation. But his wife claims the arrest was illegal because he is a member of the Moorish nation. He had diplomatic community. Why are y'all doing it? Moors trace their beliefs to noble Drew Ali, who founded the Moorish Science Temple in Chicago in 1925. With tens of thousands of followers, the faith borrows heavily from Islam. It also teaches that all black Americans are Moorish Americans, descendants of an ancient Moroccan global empire, an idea some followers have taken one step further. So you don't have to get a, a license plate or a driver's license. You can lay claim to property. Spencer Dew, who studies the movement, says Moorish Americans have long taken pride in being American citizens. But as the group splintered over the decades, some offshoots abandoned that view. But I also think we have some opportunistic individuals, um, some sort of lone wolf elements. Jeff Fort is perhaps the most notorious movement member. The former leader of a violent Chicago street gang, he was convicted in 1987 of conspiring with Libya's Gaddafi regime to blow up U.S. government buildings. It's kind of a public relations nightmare. The vast majority of Moorish communities uh, in America are not involved in any of this sovereign citizen uh, ideology, not involved in fraudulent behavior, not involved in criminal acts. As for Butler, he eventually abandoned the Bethesda mansion, but he still faces charges of burglary, theft, and fraud. He's currently out on bond. You know, everybody likes to look at a big, beautiful house, but, um, Usually you call a realtor to unlock the door for you. 
For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Washington. As with any religion or ideology, there's a bad apples in all of them. And the guy in the truck and the cameraman are a couple of them. So now let's get on with the show and find out why they think they are above the law, not just in the Moorish sense, but why they think they're legally above the law. Well, no, y'all ain't got shit to do with me. Get out of here. They ain't got no jurisdiction over us. We're Moors, so they know. They know what the slang is. They know what this means. Yeah. Oh, they know what this means. I'm sure they know what it means, but that still doesn't make you immune to the laws of the land. I don't care what country you go to with your religion. You're still not going to be immune to the laws of the country you're in. And if you try this in certain other countries, even if they have tolerance for other religions, they certainly wouldn't tolerate you saying that, they're ab that you're above the law. In fact, they'd probably make you disappear. They ain't dumb. They ain't dumb. They know this right. They swore an oath on this. They took the oath on this. Yeah, they took Man, the oath on this. This is crazy. No, they swore an oath on this. No, they know. Y'all wanna know the date? <laughs> you don't know the date, huh? Y'all fictitious fake. That, that's what the U.S. citizen they fake. Fake fictitious. Yeah, just try walking around in Paris, let's say, and break a law and say, oh, I'm not under your jurisdiction. Uh, yeah, I bet the French authorities would just laugh in your face and haul you off to jail anyway. And telling them that they are fake and fictitious authority figures, well, that wouldn't help the situation out either. Because they would have authority over you. As long as you're in their country, you have to obey their laws. And since you are driving around in the United States and still a United States citizen, you have to have a driver's license to travel around in a vehicle. No if, ands, or buts. Sir, they ain't got no sword fiction. This, this is our flag. You ain't lying. No, they can't stop you from doing nothing. They get ready to get sued. Get out of here. Get your supervisor. I want to speak to your... Thank you, man. All this. I ain't under you. None of y'all's jurisdiction. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man, going. Pittsburgh, PA. Man, threw a flag out the stove, though. He hurt. All of y'all. A memorandum. Y'all don't have the Oaks and Bonds in 1938. Y'all, the shit's gonna get thrown out on that alone. The Oaks and Bonds in 1938, the foreign registration. This is what you need to know. Out. Let me increase the volume and we will find out what he just said because this is one of the important parts of his argument. The next one will come later. The Oaks and Bonds in 1938, the foreign registration. This is okay, I know what he's talking about. He's talking about the Foreign Registration Act of 1938. Okay, a little bit of a history lesson. In 1938, we had Japan waging war throughout the uh, Asian continent. And at this time, Nazi Germany was trying to spread their influence through diplomatic relations throughout the world, such as the German-American Bund here in the United States, which was an arm of the Nazi party here in the United States at that particular time, trying to recruit people into their cause through the spreading of their propaganda. And thus this and other reasons sparked the creation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act of 1938 to keep track of foreign agents and document what they were doing. 
So basically, if you're a foreign agent and you have business to do here in this country, you have to register, give your name, who you're with, and what your purpose in the United States is. That's all that is. Nothing more, nothing less. In fact, here's an excerpt from the Act itself. Registration under the Act does not imply recognition by the United States government of the legitimacy of any particular foreign government or foreign political party. Furthermore, registration does not indicate approval by the United States government of the activities of any registered agent or the content of any informational materials they disseminate. Oh, you crown munching moron. This is what you have to back you up. Well, you got nothing. Absolutely, positively nothing right there. Stuff you need to know, fellas. Ladies. Stuff you need to know. It's going nowhere. They got no jurisdiction over us. None. They ain't got the status. This ain't their land. This is my land. This is my land. I'm a moor. I'm allowed to travel this land. They swore an oath to this. This is the oath they swore on. They all know it. Ah, yes, you see? He fell down the rabbit hole that was described in the previous video that he believes that all the land belongs to him. And that, combined with the soft tart philosophy of operating a motor vehicle without a license or plates, well now, we got a lethal combination here, don't we? A lethal combination of bullshit that wouldn't work in any country you lived in, you paint-drinking moron. There ain't no license. They're not under y'all's jurors. I don't have a contract with y'all. There is no contract with y'all. I was just downtown with the same bullshit. Sorry, mother... You see, I ain't touch him. You see that, right? Yeah, but more. I got every right to travel from here to Timbuktu. They ain't Timbuktu. This, oh, they want it. They want to be the Jews. They want to be the fake Jews. They know what this means. Oh, you know what this means. How they're white. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we ain't going nowhere, baby. We ain't going nowhere. We got dogs. Pittsburgh PD, Pittsburgh police out this bitch. Wait, this shit ain't no joke, dog. My man threw the flag out the flag. Fuck. <laughs> this shit funny as hell. Yeah, I'm recording all this because this shit right here is like, whoa. Like, Rob, about this bitch. Get educated. Get educated. You talk to all of the fuck. Yeah. I'm going to get educated today. Because I ain't touched that man. You see? I ain't touched him. I ain't pulled a pistol or nothing. All they can do is government. I'm not no government employee of theirs. I ain't under none of their fucking jurisdiction. We're Moors. Remember that. We're Moors. We ain't got no fucking jurisdiction over us. And I got Article 6 right here. Well, now he is referencing Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, which makes up only three paragraphs. All debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this Constitution shall be valid against the United States under this Constitution as under the Confederation. This Constitution and the laws of the United States 
which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made or which shall be made under the authority of the United States shall be made the supreme law of the land, and the judges in every state shall be bound thereby anything in the Constitution or the laws of any state or to the contrary notwithstanding. The senators and representatives before mentioned, and the members of the several state legislatures, and all the executive and judicial officers, both of the United States and the several states, shall be bound by the oath of affirmation to support the Constitution, but no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. So, my moronic friend, how does Article 6 help your cause out in any way, shape, or form? I don't see a, anything in there about recognizing any foreign pop body. And the only thing in there about religion is not having to take a test on religion to hold an office. And I don't think we have any treaties with any Moorish nations saying that they own our land, so how is this helping your argument? I mean, you know what, you little crown muncher, just like any other sovereign citizen, you didn't even bother to do the slightest bit of research on anything you spout off because you're too damn lazy to think for yourself. Pick on the beast, sweetie. Look, they all they want to know. Article 6 right here. Man, they pulled out all the laws. Oh, my six. God. Article 6. I'm supposed to be set free in liberty, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Article 6 right here. I'll sue the fuck out of them. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. He ain't even playing with him. Like, you see the flag? Dude, he ain't even playing with him. Like, you see the flag? Dude. Because they know it, we just don't know. We don't oh, know. I know it. Because they ain't gonna do shit. Think I don't know it? Because they're gonna fix me. What part of Article 6 is I know ain't trying to shit? No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, I ain't signing shit. I'm not signing shit. He said I ain't signing no, shit. No, I'm not signing nothing. I ain't signing nothing. I'm not signing nothing. I don't have no jurisdiction. Jurisdiction? None. Exactly. Three, exactly. Exactly. Throw it in the tail of my contain thing. Shit. Shit. Fuck out of here. Shit. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. They don't even know what the fuck to say. Like, these motherfuckers yeah, is like, lost. Got no right to talk they don't even know what to say, dog. Get your butt. Get, get the white shirt. Go get the white shirt. I don't want none of that shit. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking the toss and all you want fictitious fake motherfuckers. Fictitious. I'm not taking none of that shit. I'm not taking that shit. Ah. Fire. 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 I give the fuck. I ain't got yeah, no fuck. I guess I'll fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Cameraman, you shouldn't be laughing at this either because you know what? You've fallen so far down this rabbit hole and drank the Kool-Aid, there might not be any recovery for you. Because you laughing at this and agreeing with him 100% of the way just goes to show that you haven't done any of the research either. You haven't researched any of the arguments or counter arguments or anything like that. So laugh all you want because you're taking quite a bit of joy in your own ignorance. And that, my friend, is truly sad that you are so stupid that you don't know how stupid you are. <laughs> oh, you ain't know about this? Oh, you tripping. Yeah. Yeah, you tripping. This is real shit. This ain't no bullshit. Oh, 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 You know what is funny? He just calls everything else fake, but he cherry-picked the issue of civil rights as the one of the few things that he thinks is real. 
Dude, you just can't cherry pick laws that you like and go with those and disregard the laws that you don't. That is not how the world works. If the world worked like that, it'd be absolute chaos, you moron. Hey, so oh. what, buddy? I was yeah, getting a yeah, 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 No, I'm not. Man, look here. Yeah, 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 he ain't going to do nothing to me. That man ain't going to do nothing to me. I'm one of him. You think he's going to do something to me? Get the fuck up out of here. Hey. Well, there you have it, folks. I presented you with two completely uneducated ignoramuses. I mean, you've got to love how these guys just don't bother doing the simplest bit of research to see if their arguments hold any weight whatsoever. I mean, these guys are such morons, they made Chile de Castro look intelligent. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.